Well, no doubt, right here in Indiana, we love our basketball. Yeah, it's legendary here, and while the most famous games have taken place in gyms and arenas across the state, there's still a passion for this sport hidden away in some of the most quaint places in Indiana. These are the images we've grown up with. Well, hit the basketball goal. <laughs> seen so many times. The name that's up there on them is my grandkids and a couple of their kids. Seen them on the side of barns. Just on trees or buildings. Or no nets, nets, no backboards. Symbols of a love story. You know, it's just you and a hoop. Between a state and a sport. I don't know what it is about Indiana and basketball, but they go together. But in farming communities across the state. Ready to go to school? Yeah, see who goes to school. There is still a unique alternative to playing hoops outdoors, like inside this old dairy bar. This is where Dale and Eric have gone since they were young boys. Any time as a kid that you got that five minutes to pick up a basketball and shoot at a hoop, that's what you did. There we go. His grandpa put a hoop in the hayloft, and that's where Dale's dreams were born. I mean, you come up here and you can't help but think of the movie Hoosiers because this is what it's all about. Yeah. And this is where it started. Here in Indiana, it's called barn ball. Oh, <laughs> You got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit shorter the closer you get. Holy cow. <laughs> the Dandy Breeze Dairy Farm. Count it, count it. Yes. Is also a hoops haven. From the corners, we'll go from the sides here. Oh, that's right. No. Try and throw it through the holes in the sides of the barn. Or you hit it off the ceiling. Oh. Whatever you think the most impossible, improbable shot there is. That is the uh, far corner shot from the back right. It's about a 50 foot shot. Oh, oh. that was terrible. That's what you're going to try to do. And you know, every now and then, Oh, oh, oh <laughs> you'll get extremely lucky. Oh, oh! and it'll go in. Got it. <laughs> and come inside this barn because there's something up there that has drawn players for generations. More or less converted, no longer used as a farm, but uh, get the gymnasium upstairs. Barn ball. <laughs> Glenn Canfield has been watching basketball inside his barn since the 1960s, back when his sons were much younger. It was a rather small court to start with, depth-wise, but as far as on the sidelines, we had a lot of room. And then as we used up the straw and the hay, the court got bigger. The Frankton High School team that reached the state championship game still plays here from time to time. You can come up here and play during the summer with all your friends. The place is like... I've been here forever. A lot of memories back to playing ball. What's, uh, what's basketball mean to Indiana? No, oh, number one. <laughs> you know, dad's, dad's legacy. You played a lot up here, ain't you? Yeah. Uh, I'll be up here more often now. Oh, well, any time. Right. Yep, any time. Yeah. Any of you. It just, you come up here and it just opens up a whole different world. Oh, get out of here. This barn could be clear, cleared out or it could be filled to the ceiling with hay, but you'll always leave a path for the hoop just so you can get some shots up. In Indiana, the heartbeat is the sound of a basketball, no matter where it's played. It runs in your blood, it truly does. So much fun to see that these places still exist. We've put together a cool slideshow showing you some of the hoops and the haylofts around Indiana, and you'll find this slideshow tonight on WTHR.com. Very, very nice. Oh, it was so much fun to put together.